let me show you how you can transform this photograph from this to this using Luminar Neo and just a few clicks. Okay, this is the photograph I will be retouching today. Um, let me check the information of this photo. This photograph was shot with a Canon ES 5D Mark III. Uh, a lens was a fast lens, uh, Sigma Art 35mm 1.4. Uh, shot at ISO 125 f2 at 1800 of a second switching back to the edit uh, the first thing I will do is I will go to the develop raw mode switch the profile to camera neutral then over here in the light section I will increase the exposure around maybe there is fine close this go to color switch the white balance to daylight and that's about it here and then on the optics I will take them all and let the program fix everything by itself okay now um, I will play with the color what I have in mind for this photograph since I think the photo is really okay in terms of the light it's really soft and for this style this style of dreamy look something that you want to have in a photograph you also will like to add some uh, some reflected light or light source like over here that i think this is the sun that is shining behind the, the subject but the overall lighting of the photo photograph has to be uh, soft so i will play with the contrast color tones and brightness just to add more uh more life to this photograph all right so the first thing uh, do, I will do after, uh, you know, fixing the profile and light and applying the optics correction is just to start with the color and contrast. So I will go to the color section here under the HSL. Uh, I will switch to saturation. If you are in hue or luminance, make sure that you are under the saturation or in the saturation module. I'll increase, I will increase the colors that are in there. The red is the first one. Uh, maybe it's too much. Then the orange, this is the one I like because I want that um, warm tone to be there. And then the yellow, I think is fine in there. Yeah. And a touch of green. And then when I have increased the saturation of specific colors, I will reduce the overall saturation just to avoid any oversaturation. Okay. Okay, let me check. Let's move around 14. Yes, okay. Fine. Now, there is an effect or a tool here in the creative section of Luminar Neo that is called Glow. Glow will add the word implies a glow and effect and the midtones and highlights of this photograph in this case i will select the glow and then i will add maybe around 60 something right it's kind of enhancing the highlights okay now you want that to be soft right and then i will reduce the brightness a little bit and the contrast may be there so if you check the highlights overall highlights you see that this section over here that it was kind of washed out now has it has more contrast so i really like the effect now with the glow effect in there go back to develop go to light and apply some smart contrast just to add more contrast to the photo i think it's okay in there yes okay looking good so far look at this from here to here with just a few adjustments another thing i will add here is this vignette let me get crazy with the vignette ml 58 you see yes it's focusing on the subject all right okay so so far so good just really quick we move from this to this now if you want to add more stuff to this photograph i would recommend uh, one or two things. The first one will be to use an overlay for a texture. For example, if you want to add a texture to this photograph, yeah, do it. Uh, or if you want to add glows of, of light to this photograph, you can use one of the glows uh, that I have in the in my website that you can download. 
and I will leave in the video description the links to where you can get this photograph and also the overlays that I use. But in this case, I would try one of these two overlays, maybe this text too. Let me see. Um, let me increase the, the opacity. Now, the principle I use for applying uh, this type of overlays or textures is just to put an opacity in 100 and then play with the blending modes. I use most of the time three of them. Um, can be multiply, overlay, or soft light. Multiply will have the tendency to darken, right? Um, overlay will brighten up, and soft light is something kind of between both. In this case, I will try multiply, right? Because I think it adds an interesting texture and overall look to the photograph. But I will reduce the opacity because I think it's too much, maybe to 50%, right? So, let me see, let me adjust this because it's not filling the entire photo. Okay, there you have it. Now, if you zoom in, you will see that the texture is showing in, you know, in, in the entire photo. The, this texture, in this case, doesn't uh, bothers me, but if you don't like to have this kind of texture over the skin or overall the subject, you can always erase it. So you will go to the layer properties and then you need to click on masking brush. I would recommend to start with a soft brush around 30 okay, with strength and erase and start erasing. All right. Remember that every time you release the mouse uh, click and reapply it, you will be applying again the effect uh, over the areas you already did and it will become stronger. So in this case, you see it's soft, soften that a little bit. But if I want to reduce it more, I need to apply a second pass, right? And see what happens. And then it start disappearing. But as I said, in my case, uh, this uh, texture doesn't bother me at all. Uh, can also change the color of this texture, um, mainly using the develop mode. I will go to color and then I can increase the temperature because I like the warm tones, right? And then around there and the magenta side, I'm just applying some color to the texture like this, right? If it's too much, I just have to reduce the saturation, right? And there you have it, guys. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. I will also leave uh, the links, as I said, to the, where you can get this photograph and you can download my textures in my website. It's just it's all for free. And again, guys, if you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel, like, share the video, and I see you in the next straight to the point tutorials. God bless you all. Bye bye.